Week we share stories of ways to improve our changing climate. Today we share the work of microbiologist Christian Rinke and his team from the University of Queensland. They have been observing a group of larvae known as the superworm where they are offering a possible solution to the future of plastic recycling. Well, this block of styrofoam or polystyrene may appear to be just a block of trash, but it's being tested as a meal for superworms. Rinky and his team have used a technique called metagenomics to study genetic material of the worms to identify which enzymes have the ability to degrade the polystyrene. Rinky's study has shown that larvae that uh, fed on the trash become pupa and then eventually beetles. Tests also show that worms can survive on the pathogens, but they're not exactly a nutritious diet. What we believe is happening, it's kind of a symbiotic relationship, right? The worm first shreds the polystyrene in smaller parts and then the microbes then are chemically or basically use the enzymes to degrade it further. Uh, the team's long-term goal is to engineer enzymes modeled after those found in the superworms that could be used to treat plastic waste at recycling plants after it's been mechanically shredded.